so welcome back guys uh, in this video uh, we are going to learn about uh, setting up uh, and connecting scatter on our web page and uh, decentralized application so let's get started uh, here is uh, I have made a folder of uh, uh, our dApp uh, dApp1 so uh, here is an HTML file and an application JS file where our JavaScript code uh, for the connection of uh, Scatter will go. And here are some uh, JavaScript files and libraries that are necessary for connecting uh, Scatter and uh, uh, towards the blockchain of EOS. So, uh, firstly, we will uh, take a look at the libraries. Here are some libraries uh, uh, EOS JS API. JSON RPC JS6. Uh, these will be used for the RPC calls and uh, for uh, connecting to the nodes of EOS, either it is on local or testnet or live. So uh, EOS uh, JS ECC and uh, these are uh, this and these files and libraries will be used for uh, connecting and uh, uh, getting the information from the blockchain and signing transactions uh, etc and these are the scatter related uh, uh, files uh, and this is our application file so uh, uh, for now uh, let's get to the application JS file so it is a simple uh, JavaScript file where uh, I have uh, mentioned three uh, portions first is declaration then initialization and then methods uh, for now uh, our uh, declaration section so uh, here I have already defined some endpoints and some variables uh, what is an endpoint the endpoint is uh, the blockchain or nodes endpoint where we are connecting to uh, 4127.0.0.1 it is the local blockchain node or local endpoint and uh, this is the jungle testnet uh, endpoint that we have recently tested on scatter and uh, uh, these are the chain IDs that we uh, of course uh, used on scatter uh, for connecting it and uh, uh, also uh, uh, used it on uh, Cleos to get the information uh, of blockchain and uh, so these are the chain IDs uh, this is for local uh, this is for jungle testnet and uh, uh, these are the contract names on local our account is uh, our contract is deployed on account bob and on testnet our account is deployed on uh, eos testing ab so uh, uh, whether we are connecting to local blockchain and uh, or uh, testnet uh, we will use the respective details of uh, chain id endpoint and contract addresses so uh, these are some variables that we will fill uh, below okay so in the initialization on page load when our page is loaded uh, in our case uh, for now uh, index.html uh, when our index.html is loaded our scatter will connect uh, to the desktop client of scatter uh, of the user that is uh, viewing uh, the page of uh, the web page so uh, here are some network details to which scatter will connect so uh, we are mentioning here blockchain as we know that scatter is not only for EOS it also uh, it, uh, it, is al it also uses Ethereum or Tron blockchain so uh, we are mentioning here the blockchain we are using is EOS chain ID will be uh, used from above for local or for uh, jungle same goes for endpoint and the port uh, 8888 and the protocol HTTP that we are using so uh, let's uh, write the code for connecting to the uh, uh, for connecting to the users scatter desktop so uh, firstly when we uh, include these libraries we are getting some uh, objects from scatter that we will use like scatter js dot plugins and here we will initialize uh, the scatter new scatter 
uh, new scatter EOS so uh, this will initialize our uh, scatter now we will mention a bracket uh, or for in uh, if any case uh, our web page is uh, uh, not connecting to the scatter or some exception is raised our uh, page does not uh, throws an error so uh, here we will write the code for connecting to scatter using scatter js dot scatter and uh, dot connect function that will be used for connecting uh, to the contract and uh, here we will mention the contract name that we have mentioned above for now we are considering local blockchain and uh, local account block uh, where we will connect to the scatter so uh, when uh, the scatter js dot connect uh, uh, will try to connect uh, it will throw up send a promise so after the connection is done we will use it like this cool oops so cool this is our uh, connect function and uh, inside it when it is connected we will write the next row of code so uh, firstly we will check if if it's not connected then return alert or something uh, similar to this uh, because uh, we have the issue connecting here it sorry so uh, if uh, uh, the scatter is not connected it will throw an error issue connecting in scatter uh, then uh, if the error uh, if the scatter is connected we will take the scatter object in the object we have just uh, declared above so that it is accessible globally so uh, we will scatter js dot scatter so now our scatter object is uh, globally accessible so now uh, we will mention some uh, required fields that we will pass in an object towards the scatter for connecting this is the network variable that we have declared the information in so uh, now we will be using the, this required fields uh, uh, variable or constant in the scatters identity function so now uh, we will get the identity from the scatter wallet the identity is the account that will be connected to our uh, decentralized application so uh, scatter dot get get identity and uh, it will take a parameter that is required fields that we have de uh, declared above it will also return the promise so uh, we will mention then and here we will mention the function callback and uh, now we will get the account details from the scatter so uh, scatter dot identity dot account scatter will now contain the identity object uh, and inside the identity object we will have the accounts and uh, we will only find the accounts specifically for the blockchain EOS so we will code it like this x blockchain EOS as we have mentioned above so uh, uh, okay let's uh, let's take this account details in uh, in a variable 
okay we have already declared a account variable above the reason of uh, uh, declaring the variables uh, here is uh, that we will uh, we will have the global access of these variable uh, in the further code so now so now uh, let's log the details of account that we have recently got from the scatter and one more thing um, uh, one more thing is uh, we have to now initialize the EOS object uh, not for uh, this lesson but for uh, the future lessons uh, when we uh, we have to connect towards the uh, when we have to connect uh, to the blockchain applications and sign transactions on our behalf on the behalf of our account so we will initialize the rpc here constant rpc and uh, new aos js json rpc dot json rpc and endpoint the endpoint uh, variable we have declared above and this is the uh, object that will come from json habits rpc library so now we have this, uh, declared it now initialize the eos object and uh, for that sorry is scatter dot eos and uh, it will take parameters network and uh, eos js eos js api dot api and uh, it will take rpc inside the parameter inside the object so uh, and one more thing we can lock the error here if in any case it throws the error so everything looks fine now and uh, now let's run the application and check if it's connecting or not so here is our uh, index.html file we can open it on google chrome so cool uh, here is our scatter pop-up that is uh, trying to connect uh, with it uh, on behalf of our decentralized application uh, to the user's uh, scatter account and here we can see as uh, we have uh, connected it towards the local blockchain so it is showing only the accounts that are connected in that are from the local blockchain okay uh, it is not showing the account from the test blockchain so select this account and it is also showing the authorities that we want to give to the application active or owner don't get a, uh, give owner a, a authority to anyone so let's give the active and allow so great our application is now connected to the scatter and uh, as we can see in the console here is the accounts object that we have logged here from the scatter get identity function so uh, here is the uh, account object from the scatter identity function and uh, it contains the account details name bob chain id blockchain etc so so uh, as we have uh, connected the scatter now we will move towards uh, developing the applications further